Sunday footy show, round two. Two and oh, the Swans. Unthinkable, wasn't it, half time against Essendon last week? They found their real voice last night and form with a magnificent 48 point win over one of the flag contenders in Port Adelaide on their home ground. Uh, they were magnificent, Hutchie. Uh, dominated from start to finish. 14 goals, 892 to 6844. Franklin was solid, worked really hard. Jeddah kicked two early goals, important, but the midfield. We've touched on it, eh? Kennedy, Jack Parker, Hanbury, too good. Ryder and Monfrews were much better in their second game up for Port Adelaide. Pittard, Gray, Wines uh, were, were some of the big ball winners. But it's all about the Sydney Swans and one of their stars, their captain, who was back from injury, missed uh, six weeks with a calf injury over the summer. But 26 disposal, Jared McBay, you must be absolutely ecstatic with uh, what you did over in Adelaide, where it's a tough place to win. Yeah, look, it was unbelievable. You know, a really tough place to play footy and, um, you know, a big crowd over there and they were coming off a loss against Fremantle and, uh, you know, we really started well and then went on with a, you know, a big win in the end. Jared, I know it was a long time ago, but it's your first game since that grand final performance. You, as a side, you've hardly put a foot wrong. Does it still play any part uh, in, in, in when you run out down the race in season 2015? Oh, look, I think it plays, you know, a little part in guys' heads maybe, but look, we got over that and passed that and, and spoke about, you know, what we need to do and how to get better and, um, you know, we've trained for that all pre-season and um, so, look, we, um, you know, you don't think about it too much, but look, it's definitely in the back of your head. Uh, you got out of jail against Essendon. It uh, wasn't the most convincing performance, but uh, where did you feel you stepped it up against Port Adelaide uh, yesterday? Look, I think the way we attacked on uh, last night was a lot better. Um, our, our ball movement through the middle of the ground was really good. You know, they had numbers, um, you know, behind the footy a couple of times, and then we, you know, we used that uh, smaller half forward a lot, which I thought was good. And just our all-ground defence and tackling was, um, you know, went to another level. Speaking of the tackling, what about Tiffin and Buddy having eight each? That is unbelievable for the big forwards, Jared. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, look, look, sixteen between those two and. Uh, chasing, harassing, smothering yeah. the ball, look to keep the ball in our forward lines, what you want those guys to do. And, um, you know, when the ball's on the deck, they're obviously very good attacking, but they've, uh, you know, they've worked on the other side of their game as well. Mac, you don't want to put too much pressure on a youngster, but you must be so impressed with the, uh, the early form of Isaac Heaney. Tell us a bit about what he's like at the club day to day as well. Yeah, look. He just wants to learn. Um, obviously, he's come through our academy system, and he, you know, he knows our structures fairly well. He knows a lot of the boys, so you know he's a bit ahead of the others in that regard. But look, he's a hard competitor. He competes, and look, he's a really good overhead mark for his size. So he's, um, you know, hasn't put a foot wrong. Macker, after losing <coughs> Melchewski, uh, you've gone played a little bit down the fancy van. You needed a couple of other players to step up. Rampy was good last year, but his first two games this year, the rebound he's offered you blokes off half back has been outstanding. Ramp. Yeah, look, he has. Um, look, he's a real competitor as well. He's really hard, and now he's had to learn that uh, the offensive side of his game, which is you know really improving. And he's a he's, he's a super left foot kick. And uh, last week he actually spent a bit of time in the midfield as well, which is really good for us. So he's he's got the ability to play on talls and smalls, and then move through different positions now. Jared, uh, next weekend you play the GWS Giants, both clubs two and zero. Your brother will be in the coach's box, Mark McVeigh. Do you think he'll have something special in store for you? Yeah. Oh, plotting our demise, he said to me last night. So, um, yeah, look, who knows? Uh, look, yeah, they're playing really good footy and uh, we had a really good clash against them in the NAB last game. Uh, you know, won by a kick on the siren. So, um, you know, the games in the past have been really tough against them and they've uh, definitely improved this year. So they're going to go to another level again and, and uh, you know, we're going to have to be on our game. Uh, the votes from yesterday, Jared, uh, dominated by the Sydney Swans. Powerful, these four midfielders, uh, Kennedy, Eight votes, Jack eight votes, couldn't split a no, Luke Parker right. and Hanbury, no. Jared, very unlucky to miss out there yesterday. You'll get all the prizes though, don't worry about it, Jared. And uh, good luck next week. And really appreciate you making time after you got back to Sydney to join us. You get all those magnificent prizes on the Sunday footy show. Well done. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Jared McVeigh joining us there from Sydney. Now let's head to 